Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 13 from chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry. In my previous videos, I've completed examples 1 to 11, exercises 11.1 to 11.3 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. And also do watch the video till the end so that I can make more such videos for you guys. Example 13 from chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry says, Prove that secant a into 1 minus sin a into secant a plus tan a is equal to 1. So here we have to prove the left hand side as equal to 1. So how do we solve this kind of problems? So here we have three trigonometric functions that is secant, sin and tan. So we will convert the secant and tan in terms of sin and cos by using the relationships that is secant a can be written as here the secant a can be also written as 1 by cos a and tan a can be written as sin a by cos a right this relationship we have studied in our first introduction video of this chapter that is for exercise 11.1 if you have not watched that video you can find the link in the description box below do watch that video before solving such kind of problems so since we have to prove the left hand side equal to 1 so let us write down the left hand side first that is given as secant a into 1 minus sin a into secant a plus tan a right now we let us convert the secant secant and tan a in terms of cos and sin right so secant a can be written as 1 by cos a into we have 1 minus sin a which will be as it is into again secant can be written as 1 by cos a plus tan a can be written as sin a divided by cos a so here again now let us write down 1 by cos a into 1 minus sin a as it is so 1 by cos a into 1 minus sin a into here you can notice that cos a and cos a is same in the denominator so now we will write the common denominator that is cos a and we will add the numerator since the denominator is common right so this will be 1 plus sin a so here we can observe that we have in two terms therefore we can multiply the numerator and denominator okay so in the denominator we have cos a into cos a that can be written as cos square a and in the numerator what we have 1 into 1 minus sin a that will be 1 minus sin a and into 1 plus sin a again if you observe in the numerator it this is of the form a minus b and a plus b so we know the identity where a plus b into a minus b can be written as a square minus b square right this we have studied in our previous classes so here a value is 1 and b is sin a so now let us apply this identity and write a square minus b square form so here a square is 1 square minus b square will be sin square a divided by cos square a right so what is 1 square 1 square is 1 minus we have sin square a divided by cos square a also we studied in a previous introduction video that is introduction to 11 point exercise 11.4 the trigonometric identities that is we have cos square a plus sin square a is equal to 1 then 1 plus tan square a is equal to secant square a then we have cot square a plus 1 is equal to cosecant square a so these are the three trigonometric identities which you have to know and remember to solve the problems so in this problem we can apply our first identity that is cos square a plus sin square a is equal to 1 so write down we know that cos square a plus sin square a is equal to 1 so this can be rewritten as if we send the sin square a to right hand side so cos square a can be written as 1 minus 
sin square a right so let us substitute the value of 1 minus sin square a in the numerator as cos square a so therefore 1 minus sin square a can also be written as cos square a according to our trigonometric identity so cos square a divided by cos square a so here cos square a in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled and therefore we will get the value as 1 so hence we have proved that the left hand side is equal to right hand side which is equal to 1 so therefore you can write hence proved so this is how we solve this example 13 if you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving example 14 from chapter 11 introduction to trigonometry so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and sort math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 11 introduction to trigonometry shown on the screen thank you